I'm gonna run this, this good business showing people a good time. B bust Brad out of prison, and then, you know, happy. <laughs> so how'd you come by this place anyway? About it for ages. So you must know Leon, the old manager. Leon? I didn't know. <laughs> yeah, whatever, man. So what's going on here? What's going on is the big one. A long, long time ago, in a faraway place, there were three guys. Michael, Trevor, and Lester. And Brad. Uh, yeah. Sure, Brad was there sometimes as well. I mean, there were other guys, though, too. So, uh, anyway, we uh, robbed and lied and we hurt people. Pretty much lived a low-life kind of existence. But always dreaming of one thing and one thing only. Big one. The big one. The, the big, big one. one! What is the big one? <laughs> the Union Depository. Around 200 million in gold bricks, all taken from kindly Uncle Sam, who will spend the rest of our lives being hunted by government officials if we live through the attempt. But, but it'll be my, uh, our masterpiece. So, gentlemen, let's do our civic duty and get out there and find some gainful employment. This way. Let's go. Big one. Getting a feel for it. Security, exit routes, general vibe. That doesn't look like much. Man, security looks light. We send in a couple of sprung niggas, clap, clap. What are you talking about, Frank? Oh, I see it. Man, getting in the door is easy. It's a standard bank. It's getting underground as hard. Ain't that where the metal's kept? Right. Now we gotta stop outside the Arcadia Center down on Alta Street. We can get a view of the back from there. Hey, man, you might not notice it, but I picked up a few things rolling with you. I mean, there's times I think I gotta be the senior partner in the group, from the way you and Trevor behave. Ah, oh, sorry. There's history there. Yeah, it still ain't fully been explained to me, though. No? Well, remind me to go over with you again sometime, but not now. Look, dawg, light again, man. Yeah, fucking eerie, ain't it? Man, you think they put more than one motherfucker on our national fucking reserve? Yeah, huh? Well, maybe we really are broke. Trevor, how are you doing? Uh, well... Uh, I like clockwork, Mikey. I like clockwork. You mentioned a uh, job before. Something I can help you with? I ain't even talked to Mike about it yet, but he's gonna be on board. He's obligated. What is it? Ain't it obvious? Bustin' Brad out of the clink. Why do you talk to Michael about it? Oh, fine. Shit. I was gonna pay you, man. When there ain't an obvious profit in something, you're a hard guy to motivate. You'll kill me before my jeans do. Do they call it a wasting disease because you waste people's time? Move it! Sweet 1330, we have two hours before we need to be in Marietta Heights.
Flight observations fit with your scheme. So far, yeah. Be careful not to get too close to the prison. We'll trip an alarm. Good point. Don't want them jumpy for the breakout. Ah, yeah. It's quiet enough that any disturbance is going to get picked up immediately. What those two don't know is there's a special team of cops on standby 24-7 waiting on a signal from the UD. Won't go out on any other call. And it's never been hit. Man, those guys must get bored. They may be cops, but they work for the government. There's nothing government workers love more than to accept tax dollars for doing nothing. Oh, yeah, that and spying on innocent people. Hmm, getting paid to do nothing and spying on innocent people. Now, who does that remind me of? Anyway, if we want to hit the vault in a way that people will notice, the key will be to divert the security team. Divert it? You said they hold out for calls from the UD, and that's it. They do, so we'd have to hit it twice, once to distract them, and once to get it done. You're gonna find someone willing to get caught hitting a super bank just as a distraction? I was thinking, Michael, it might appeal to his ego. Oh, what am I saying? We got the perfect guy for it. Come in, Michael! We have a visual on the convoy! Keep with them, T. Do whatever Les needs you to do. We're mapping the route and finding an ambush point. Stay with them. What kind of ambush spot are we looking for? I tend to wait in the jaw and catch them with their drawers down, but I guess that won't work here. No, it, uh, won't. We're looking for somewhere with cover for us and no escape routes for them. Ah, the same principle as a men's room. Yeah, uh, I guess. Six in sight. Stand by. Hey, I was expecting you 30 seconds ago. Tell that to the traffic. <laughs> All right. Onion 86 in the building. Now, if I remember from planning the tool store job, they're excavating the new LS Metro Tunnel around here. They take us around the building and find the construction site. Roger that! Looking for a big asshole! There's your big asshole! Hover above it while I record what we need! Hover above so I can shoot down into it!
Okay, I'll get closer for you. ideas. It's going to take a while to get them together or work them up, but I think there's a way. It's not impossible. All right. I'll start thinking about the breakout, too. Bradley Snyder, he's getting bored. Talk to Michael, okay? Goodbye. me. I shouldn't have called. P Patricia! Mrs. Madrazo! Hey! Are you behaving, Trevor? Oh, yeah. Yeah, sure. Patricia, I really miss you. Our time together is very important. I have to go.
Hey, man. Fuck. What do you want? I'm your friend. I don't want anything, man. Come on, your company's good enough, huh? Same as always. Yeah, thanks. I really appreciate that. So, family ain't back yet, huh? <laughs> nope. Oh, she's a goddamn fool, man. Despite all the chaos of these last few weeks, I think I finally figured it out. I know, no. sounds ridiculous. No, actually, it does not sound ridiculous, you know? Because you, you're a killer. You know, you are a man of action. You do not sit on couches, you take scores. You're back, man. We are back, all right? All we gotta go do is bust out Brad and then we're golden, man. Franklin, he makes us multicultural. Lester makes it cyber. We're like modern America. We just get ourselves a gay friend. Bam! No, it's not it. I got money. It just makes you miserable. I want to make movies. Great. It's great. And uh, so where exactly does this leave me in the second act of your life? We're going to do this last big job. And then we're going to dissolve the partnership. This is not a game to me. All right, this is a fucking way of life. I got a fucking family. Yeah, well, I got nothing. No one gives a fuck about me. I do. Oh, fuck you. I saw your grave. I mourned you. And then it turns out that everything I fucking thought about you was wrong. Everything. You're not dead, and you're not a man. Well, what the fuck are you? I'm your fucking nightmare! Yeah, enough with your goddamn threats! I mean, let me just ask you something, all right? Something I've been, I've been thinking about. Up in North Yankton, exactly who was buried in your place? I never gave it any thought. You know what I'm thinking? I had no clue. You treacherous piece of shit! You're fucking dead. You're fucking dead! Oh, fuck. Trevor! Hey! T! what I can tell you over a couple beers back in my house. Come on, we'll order pizza. Fuck you. Fuck your pizza. Fuck everything it stands for. This is insanity. Oh, no. No, it's clear and reason thought. Finally. Come on. Come back. We'll talk. I'm not gonna listen to another one of your lies. Hey, I'll lay it all out for you. Everything. Turn around. I'm going up there to see it for myself. You'll be disappointed. <laughs> oh, I'll be something. It'll be an anti-climax. The grave's empty. Just a bag of sand, something like that. Just smoke and mirrors. Ooh, alive! How do you do it, man? The game is up! I'm trying to save you a trip. You've done me enough favors, buddy, all right? Save your fucking breath! Trevor, come on! Fuck you, Michael! Soon enough, I will. It's great to, uh... They're a plane I can use. Get me across country. Sure. Sure. We got one fueled up for a trip south of the border. I'm taking it. Is everything okay, man? Everything is not okay. Nothing has ever been okay, but I gotta see it for myself. I'm gonna see an old friend, all right? You're where I think you are, buddy. I don't know why I didn't see it. I guess, I guess I didn't want to. Fuck! Maybe I knew all along. I'm gonna find out for sure, and I'm gonna do something about it. Ah! There's always something wrong with that job. 
what went down after, I guess. I guess I wanted to believe fucking fucking flea circus! Idiot, idiot! Idiot! I'm sorry, Trevor. Who you got in here, huh? As if I need to ask. Hey, you're wasting your time. Is that why you flew out here? Huh? Tell me I'm wasting my time? Go ahead, dig it up. I don't give a shit. Yeah, that's what you look like. A guy who doesn't give a shit. That's ridiculous. How long are you gonna keep lying for, Mikey, huh? When's it gonna stop? What happens in the dark? It comes out in the light. I'll oh, give it a rest, Trevor. There's nothing there! <sighs> this is it. Moment of truth. Ah! <sighs> 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 
As if I didn't know. Brad! Look, we do what we gotta do to survive. This thing, it didn't work out the way it was supposed to. Oh, and how was that, huh? With Brad in the can and me in the ground, or, 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 or both of us in the coffin? Brad got shot. You saw it. He didn't make it. I got shot, I did. That's, that's it. I think the only thing that didn't go as planned was me showing up on your doorstep ten years later. Mikey, I mourned you. And I missed you. But I got a fucking family, Trevor. We were all gonna die. He did die. You reptilian motherfucker! I didn't want it to come to this. Yes, you did! You just don't have the fucking balls to do it! But I do! I got more to lose than you. Never a truer word has been spoken, brother. Now pull the fucking trigger. You ain't got the guts. Take the fucking shot! Who is that? Fuck! 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 Fuck. Joe Phillips! Mr. Cho has requested a word! Hey, ho, ho! I'm not the guy you're looking for! Hey, how's this event? How's this event? Get the boyfriend! Boyfriend? Motherfucker. Can out! Who are your friends, T? Stop the man! Go find us! Pals, Trevor. You are going nowhere, Mr. 
Hunter! Hey, can't we do this where the weather's better? Shit! Uh, surrender, please. He's getting away! Ah, I, don't tell you. I ain't got anything against you people! You started this! Another van. <laughs> okay. Oh, you forgot to check the train schedule. <laughs> Trevor Phillips Industries. Mr. Phillips, this is Wei Chang. You know my eldest son, Tao. Yeah, the ex-nut. Backed out of a contract we agreed on. How is he? Still learning the ropes, thank you. My friends miss you in North Yankton. I was hoping we could talk. <laughs> was that your people? Ah, oh, of course. Sorry I had to cut out. Your operation causes problem for me. I want to expand into Blaine County. But your business and your temperament prevent me from making inroads. Oh, huh, well, too bad. I don't know what you can do about that. I've already done something. We have your lover. Whoa, 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 whoa. My lover? My Cody Santa. You live in your trailer together with the maid. And then you were alone in that big house. Well, you're clearly very close. You know, how much will you give up for his safety? <laughs> My lover! Yeah, right! 